and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a scatter plot matrix similar like this one uh, using SPSS and particularly using the chart builder. My example data looks like this. I have four uh, measures uh, all on a scale variable uh, where people graded uh, movies or uh, genres of movies on a scale of 1 to 10 or something. It's just some example data. I'll be using SPSS 26 um, uh, but I th pretty sure this also works for some of the earlier versions. So go for graphs and then click on chart builder. Uh, you might get a warning about measurement levels just hit OK as long as you have them. I'll reset just in case and um, under gallery go for scatter dot and one of the options here is actually a scatter plot matrix. So drag that into the chart preview. So then select all the variables by holding down shift that you want into the scatter matrix and then you can actually already click on OK if you want to. Um, you can also adjust some other things here already but I'll first click on OK. That gives me the basic plot. Now double click on this and you get into the chart editor. One thing I would like to add is a so-called reference line. Uh, so I click on this one and as an equation I like to use y equals x. Then click on apply and then uh, close this properties window. Now, as you might notice not all these reference lines are the same and that's because the scales used are not actually the same everywhere. So if we want them to be because y equals x should be just a diagonal line going up click on the scale and go for the properties window show properties you can actually also click on what was it edit and then uh, properties and then or control T. Now we can go for the matrix axis scale and here we can uncheck these two. Although the data says six and nine that's probably only for the first one because I'm fairly sure it actually goes from one uh, all the way up to ten. Hit a tab afterwards just to be sure that it actually gets this ten. Then click on apply now already some things have changed but we need to do the same for this bottom scale so click on that one and again I'll use a 1 till 10 there and after that uh, all the lines uh, sh the reference lines should be actually uh, exactly the same now I can hit close uh, as you might notice uh, this means that uh, here the comedies uh, scored uh, this is if the two scores would be the same so uh, anything below this line means that the uh, comedy scored higher than the horror and there's only one person who actually had horror higher than comedy. Um, the next thing would be perhaps to fill out this diagonal and we can do that by actually going to uh, options and then select show charts in the diagonal and we can actually only choose between a histogram or a normal curve so I would go for a histogram close and this actually then shows how Thriller itself was actually distributed. Now um, I haven't figured out a way to actually get a scale in so showing the numbers uh, for this so if you know about that please let me know in the comments below. And this is how I would create this scatter plot matrix uh, using SPSS.